put yourself and your best into what you do and change your world. Remember, there is no extra time. Therefore, whatever you do now, do it the best way the first time. Success is waiting for the man who says yes to success. Success is waiting for the man who plans for it, who reaches out for it, who says, I'll wake up, and he wakes up. Who says, I'll read this book, and he reads it. Who says, I'll go to school, and he goes. Success is waiting for the man who makes a decision. So time is important. Time is important. Don't spend your time watching television 24 hours a day. Don't spend your time watching video 24 hours a day. Those that you are watching have put their best into what you are watching. Change the position. Say to yourself, I will be watched. There are certain things you must do for all of what we have discussed to be a reality. There are things that are not in abundant supply. They are limited. One of them is time. Save time. Save it. Keep track of your time. The Bible says for us to redeem the time. Because it says the days are evil. You don't have extra time. Life is not a game. Therefore make every day count for your life. Some of you here are the best writers in the country. But where are your writings? Maybe you are sleeping too much. Maybe you are resting too much. Maybe you are playing too much. It's time to put your best into that writing. Let the country read your writings. Improve yourself every day. Introduce something into your life that counts. Choose to be a success. Become inspiring. Distinguish yourself with character, with excellence. If you're a musician, be a musician with a difference. Become inspiring. Whatever you do, do it with excellence. Become responsible. What do you have in yourself? There are many who cry for help. And because there are no answers, so they call for help. They feel the pains and the pangs of neglect. No, refuse to give up. Believe in what God made. God made you and he never made a failure. Believe that God has a purpose for your life. You may have been born as a parental accident, but you are not a divine accident. God knew you were coming and he made sufficient provision for you. There's a place for you in the world and I'm helping you find that place. None of you was born to be poor. You may, you may have been born poor, but you were not born to be poor. You may have been brought up poor, but you were not brought up to be poor. Understand this. The definition of adulthood is responsibility. When you become an adult, you take responsibility for your future. You cannot change yesterday, but you can do something today that can change tomorrow. It doesn't matter how you were born. That was yesterday. It doesn't matter what happened last five years, the last ten years. You may not be able to change that, but you can reposition yourself today. You can make new decisions today that will change what tomorrow will bring. Invest in your future. Refuse to be a mental hobo. Refuse to end your life on the sidewalk. Every time I tell you something, I tell you that I believe in your future. There's a reason I believe in your future. I believe that if you hear these words, you will act on them and they will change your future. Mighty shouts of thanksgiving for God's mercy, declaring that all was done by grace. So, they're going to ask you, how did you get it done? You're going to say, by grace, grace, grace. How did you manage? Grace. Woo, hallelujah. How did someone like you get that influence? Grace. How did you come through these doors? Grace. How did you get connected to so-and-so? Grace. How did you make it happen? Grace. How did you have so much? Grace. Hallelujah.